Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning from me. Probably good evening to you. So I'll wait till some people come on here and we will uh, chicka chicka. It's been a while since I've done a live stream. So we'll see what's new with you. And maybe you guys have some questions. Um, may opened up a ballot by inbox. Uh, and that video is out this morning. And then we moved into our new house. So I showed that. And I just want to thank everybody that subscribed and watched the videos. And um, let's see. I could go on two or three different rants, but I'll wait till somebody shows up. Maybe we'll just take some questions, go from there. <laughs> see what this turns into. <laughs> three people watching. Well, that's good. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Sister. Good, good you're joining me. Thank you. It's unscheduled, this live stream, of course. The last thing we want to do is plan anything around here. Um, but May and I have been busy. We have been shopping, um, getting some stuff for the house. Uh, my friend Gary um, sent me a little housewarming gift. So we honored his wishes and we went down. And one of the things that we bought was a rechargeable fan for our house. And that's a fan that will run on a battery and it has a light on it during brownouts. And then while we were there, Maya asked, can we get one for my mom and dad? And I said, sure. So we did that. And then we bought some other Nicky Nacky stuff, like a little table. Um, May got a blender. And then we overspent the budget from what he sent us. But anyway, love you, Gary. Thanks for the housewarming gift. And, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, my background's a little different this time. It's got, you got a half a curtain and half a wall. I'm still on my little temporary workstation here. But uh, um, we're working on getting organized. I got one room that I can use kind of like as a studio. And so for the balance of the, it's going to be an ongoing thing. But I'm going to be picking up little knickknack things here and there to uh, keep it a little more entertaining. <laughs> I have some ideas. <laughs> hey, Greg, thanks for coming along, kids. Good morning. My man, my man, Charlie Jett. How are you, buddy? Good morning, Texas. Good morning, James. Let's see. Good morning. Why go shop, yo? Had a nice box. Yeah. Well, we didn't know what was going to be in the box. And so if you saw May's video, a lot of it, um, I've got like eight or nine more boxes to open. So I'm not going to do one today. But um, in that box, I kind of had an idea because I talked to Goldfinger and he says, I got a bunch of tie-dye t-shirts. I'm into tie-dye. So I thought if the Grateful Dead ever had a concert here, I'd make a killing. <laughs> I just go out there and sell these t-shirts. But May already gave four of them away to our landlord and the other three people that live there. Uh, we gave three away last night uh, to our friends um, and their mom. And then we're just going to kind of bounce, you know, people that come into our world, primarily the locals. Um, and I'll give a couple of guys that I know if they want them because they're big shirts. So that'll uh, help us fat boys. And uh, I know everybody's in the tie dye. I've never owned a tie dye shirt, to be honest with you. And then what else was in there? There was a, um, a beading, a beading kit, you know, where you can bead. So I guess go figures into clothes and crafts and hobbies, which is cool. And then there was some other stuff that May got really happy about was um, bags of all things, little shopping bags, because here um, you have to bring your own. So, or if you go to 7-Eleven, they give you the good old fashioned paper bags. And those are really thin and they rip. So anyway, those were useful. Um, but I think, and what else was in there? Uh, a couple of towels. That's one thing, guys. If you're coming out here, bring your own towels. Bring some beach towels from home because the towels they sell out here 
um, aren't that absorbent. You know, it's it's just they're just Chinese cheap stuff. Um, and if you do buy a nice fluffy towel, it'll be four times the cost as it is in America. I'll tell you that much. So anyway, um, what else was in there? Should like mosquito repellent and uh, glass cleaner. It was just kind of a, a mixed bag. It was interesting though. They had fun. It was like Christmas for me. <laughs> yeah, I love our curtains too. The coolest thing about these curtains is they are, depends on where you go. May has found them at Unitop for less than five bucks for an entire curtain. And then as much as 20 bucks at Robinson's for the exact same curtain. So it pays to shop out here, trust me. Hypermart, I think we paid $6.50, which is where these came from. But uh, Unitop is our new spot for that. And um, I'm going to use them as backdrops, uh, change it up all the time. And I bought some stuff to, um, uh, in the in the studio room, we're going to, um, I've got some, some ideas about different chairs and stuff. And then we've got a storage room so we can move furniture back and forth between rooms and I can change it up each week. So I think this is what, this is the 12th. I would figure that by sometime in three weeks or so, I'll have that, that little studio kind of up and running. Thank you. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with it. Um, I used my gimbal for the first time. I've had that gimbal for I don't know, almost a year and it didn't work on my vivo phone and the interesting thing is when i upgraded my phone and i got a much better processor it worked like a champ on the samsung that was the difference that was the problem if you will i kept thinking it was me and so then i did i used the gimbal on may's unboxing but i tried something different i just set it on its stand and i learned a lesson from the unboxing video is i need to hold it and uh, move around because um, May doesn't understand what I'm asking all the time. So she'll misinterpret what I say. And so anyway, that's it. I've learned a lesson. Life's a lesson, right? <laughs> 23 pounds on your doctor. That's that is large, brother. Good on you. Good on you. 23 pounds. Let's see. Ooh. That's, I don't know how you did that. Must be a big down payment. Or was it a lease? Yeah. Yeah, we calmed it down. I sold a, let me get back to this. I sold a Nissan GTR, hundred thousand dollar car on a lease, and I got about half of what you got. Yeah, yeah, to to totally. My brother, what's going on, Mister Dave? Thanks, man. We're feeling good. I'm really happy because right now um, this is the eleventh day of the month. No, I'm sorry, the twelfth. And um, never turn on my air conditioner. Now, it is rainy season, but May and I went to Dumaguete day before yesterday. We stayed home all day yesterday. But the day before, we went to Dumaguete to get some knucklehead stuff that we needed. And uh, it was a solid 15 to 20 degrees hotter down in, in Dumaguete than it is up here. Just um, remarkable. Oh, that's a gorgeous day in Vegas. Because I know it's a worn out thing, but it's a dry heat. So 94 is like 80 everywhere else when you're in Vegas. Good morning, my friend. How's it going out there? What up, David C? We're going to find out. I thought I'd sit here and chat with you a little bit, see what's going on. Good morning, Randy, out there in Sweden, huh? Wow. 
from Florida. Cool. Good on you. Alabama's in the house. I'm always fascinated by all the different people that watch from different places. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Ed. Prayers are with you, by the way. Yeah, I've got my hair cut. Didn't shave, but I got a haircut. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get a dog. I already inherited three chickens. I got three black chickens that are out in the front yard right now. I tried to trap some ducks in here. I really wanted a pet duck, but the fence is too easy for everything to escape. So, and no, I'm not going to get a dog. Um, just too much hassle. You know, if we want to travel, then you got to worry about the dog. Um, it's not really set up with a fence. So other dogs could get in. Nothing has. But I'm sure if I got a dog, I like little dogs. I like like wiener dogs, you know, dachshunds. And those aren't good dogs for out here. So long and short of it, no, I'm not going to get a dog. I've loved dogs, though. So I really do. Coca, Florida, eating pizza. My man. Jason, how are you feeling, buddy? Good morning to you. Thanks. We like the new house, too. Let's see. Hey, I live in the UK. I met with an old man in, uh, in Cornwall who swears he's the president of the United States. Anyway, I picked him up in a big black car and took him away. <laughs> okay. Good on you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Gary. Thank you for the housewarming gift. I know you like to stay anonymous, and I actually slipped up and said your name. But anyway, um, we went 3,000 pesos over budget, but that's okay. Um, because we picked up a fan from May's parents. And uh, the fans, here's the dealio. Uh, whenever there's a brownout, um, the biggest obstacle to me is trying to stay cool. You need air movement and you need light. And this fan is tricked out because it's got, um, it's got a battery that lasts for six hours. And so, and it's, and it blows, it's a big ass fan. And so it'll keep you cool during the brownout. It'll give you illumination. And they even put a little USB port on the bottom of it so you can charge your gadgets if you need to. So, again, thank you, buddy, for the, uh, for the housewarming gift. I've been meaning to call you, um, but I can never be home when you're awake. But this week we'll talk. I hope. I hope. I hope. Don't sell any Rolling Stones. Hi, hey, Daryl from Australia. Hit the like button, bend at the knees, then hydrate. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Thank you very much on that. It is difficult. So if you do manage to hit the like button on this, by all means, bend at the knees, lift the like button, the mouse slowly. And um, hydrate, rest, and then repeat. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Hey, thank you very much. We appreciate that. We enjoy taking the journey, my friend. You know, life is a journey. And um, life needs to have purpose. So that's why we're excited about these ballot buying boxes. And we're excited about sometimes the the, the love that comes in because we're able to, you know, do things for someone else. And uh, that's really rewarding. So it's good. It's good for the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm really, uh, um, I'm really curious about these boxes too. And um, what I'm going to do next time is on the next video, yeah, everyone's, everything you do is a lesson, right? So on the next one, I'm going to go ahead and do the cutting of the box because Mato's taking like forever 
to open it up. Not her fault. She's using these funky ass scissors. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just get it so she can just open it. And I'm going to let her unpack them all because um, she likes doing it. She's like a little kid at Christmas. And <laughs> um, I knew the tie dye t-shirts were coming. So I'm kind of glad that that was the first one. But I have no idea what's in the others. Well, I actually have an idea about one thing, but we'll let that just happen. <laughs> yeah, that will wake you up. It's true. <laughs> yeah, we're digging the house. You know, what's interesting is I've lived in three places, and um, each one's been an improvement on the last one. And um, they're all the same price. I've never gone over budget on my on my apartments or this time the house. Hi, how are you? Foreigners still not allowed in the Philippines. Yeah. I don't know when it's going to open up, buddy. I get asked that more than anything. Yeah. There, yeah, there are some really big shirts in there. And um, there's some small ones, too. There's some with collars. I haven't been through them all, but um, there's some really big ones, really big. And so I know some really big guys here, and I'm going to give them to those guys because they, they, they would fall off the locals. They're so skinny. But um, um, my goal is to hand them out to the neighborhood, and then I think it would be great to go down to the Valencia Plaza on Sunday and see like 40% of the people wearing tie-dye. <laughs> Oh, they're shopping for vegetables. <laughs> Goldfinger was here. <laughs> Joke for you, Paul and Mayor Doggy May. Paul, what pisses you off? Paul Nouns. May Nouns. Paul, yeah, people, places, and things. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> Well, I have a girlfriend in Cebu City I would like to see again. Well, I don't blame you, buddy. Um, maybe the vaccine will do it. Everybody's got a different opinion as to when things are going to open up. Um, my uneducated guess is probably first of next year. Which is as good as I can do. I've been wrong in all my predictions about, about this COVID thing, so I wouldn't put too much stock in that statement. <laughs> Where's Mr. Chicken? Mr. Chicken is over there on my desk or on my drawer or whatever the hell it is. My credenza. <laughs> I'm going to get some really bizarre stuff because, like I said, they're only five bucks. And, uh, you know, for a hundred dollars, that's twenty different backgrounds. I love it. <laughs> I feel for you, Brandon. It'll open up one day, Daddy. -o. No doggies. Not gonna do a dog. Like I said, I got to. It's just too much, you know. Me and I want to travel when things open up. We want to go to some different islands. Um, oh, I'm going to do a video. Uh, one thing I, I forgot to mention, it actually slipped my mind completely. I opened up two bank accounts. So I'm going to do a video about that. Unitop sounds like a Skippy bikini. Yeah. Unitop is like, uh, Dumaguete's version of the 99 cent store <laughs> with three stories to it. It's just back full of crap. And you have to dig through it. I refuse to go in. I I just refuse. I, I've been in there and it's like I just can't do this. So the narrow the aisles are real narrow. Clothes are just piled up on tables. And I mean to tell you, it's three stories of that. And it's just like the air is stifling. And um, it's really just a bargain basement place which is fine, but it's just so crowded. Every local in town shops there and they do have the cheapest prices. We went to three different, or we went to three places, Hypermart, Robinson's and Unitop 
and these drapes behind me here. I guess I should go like that. Um, are five bucks in one place, six fifty in another, and twenty dollars at another. So Unitop was the winner. Yeah, we really like it here. There's a couple of little things that um, are not deal breakers. Um, no, nah, I just can't. I really just can't complain. And I've only been here two weeks, so I'll manage to find something. But um, so far, so good. <laughs> hey, maybe if Dean's watching, we should throw him on today. What do you guys think? I'll take a vote. I'm sure he's out there somewhere. <laughs> now that I'm married, I should be able to ship my bike. Um, check in the tariffs and stuff on that, buddy. Yeah, thanks, Jason. I hope you're feeling better, buddy. Um, this is Jason Evans. Jason's had a stroke and was in the hospital. And a lot of you guys showed your love and supported Jason in helping paying for his medical bills. So there's Jason. He wants to thank you personally. Obviously, if you're online, you're doing better. And uh, um, me and I'll try to get out to see you next week, buddy. Good morning, John. How are you? Um, I had a question for you, but I'll, I'll talk to you later. Is me whipping up some new meals? No. <laughs> No, she's not. We're um, I'm putting on pounds left and right because when we moved into the new place, and I got, I'm sure you guys can relate, um, you're just getting stuff organized. And um, does she cook? Yeah. Does she make does she make lunch? Yeah. But we have been running around, and so we eat out in this last two weeks, and we haven't been doing like fine dining. Trust me. It's been McDonald's. It's been uh, Jolly Bee. It's just because we're busy and we get hungry. So we run in and we just, you know, get something quick, we'll woof it down, and then we go back out because we're trying to get it's place like when I open the bank account. I opened two, by the way. Um, but when I open the bank account, the banks now close at three o'clock. So we had to, we had to stay on task that day. And I want to do a video about it. I had one guy send me a message saying you have to be a resident. He was real authoritarian. You have to be a resident. You cannot open a bank account unless you're a resident of the Philippines. You know, you're wrong, bucko. I just opened two of them. Centennial Hills. Oh, nice. I like it up there. You know, the first guy that I worked for Howard Keys, um, in the car business, he had Keys Toyota. He owns Centennial Toyota up there in the hills. Let's see, I could live in the Philippines in a cooler place like that, Paul. The humidity drives me nuts. Yeah, um, I hate to say it, but, well, I won't put it that way. How should I put it? <laughs> I said it last night to my friend that I was having dinner with. Um, Dumaguete is just kind of a shithole. I'll go ahead and say it. Downtown Dumaguete is just not a place that I enjoy. Um, there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of pollution. It's kind of a depressing look to it and i'm talking about i'm not talking about all of dumaguete but i'm talking about where we need to go to get things done and to go visit a few restaurants but then you drive 15 minutes in any direction and you're out of dumaguete and you're either on the beach or you're up in the mountains and what i'm excited about is i live up in valencia and Valencia itself is starting to become more and more developed with restaurants and conveniences and um, and mostly it's local stuff, nothing to get too excited about. If you want a, a real restaurant with air conditioning and all that happy stuff, you still need to go to Dumaguete. But um, 
we're we're really pleased with the way that they've they've cleaned up some of the roads. Um, they've redone the post office. I got my debit card, by the way. I got a huge shout out to Biff. Uh, Biff, I've been meaning to thank you, buddy. Um, if you're watching, I hope you do. You gave me the right advice. So I got my debit card. Oh, thank God. That was, uh, that was a long drawn out thing. Thank you very much, Fisher Lord. That's very generous of you. Appreciate that, brother. What's the lip jabs here? Are people who stick out their lips to say something. They're pointing like that. So if I want to say, if I'm sitting with May and someone to my right is, I want her to look at, I'll go like that. Or if, if someone is, I'll say, where's, I'll ask May, I'll say, where's Bob? And she'll, instead of pointing, she'll go like that. Finger pointing is, is considered to be rude. So they point with their lips. Glad to hear it's cooler up in the mountains, but every once in a while you need to run the AC for a few hours a week to pull the moisture out of the house, prevent black mold. Well, I didn't know that. So maybe we will flip that bad boy on every now and then. Um, a lot of people were asking about the yard. A lot of people seem to be concerned about the mowing of the grass. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll, I'll calm those fears. Uh, for five bucks a month, I could have a guy come here with a weed whacker and clean up the whole thing. But uh, when I mentioned that to me, she goes, no, I want to do it. <laughs> she wants to go out with shears and hand cut the grass uh, with a couple of her friends. They think that's fun. I guess it is. You know, when I was a kid, I used to love doing my lawn work for my dad. I loved mowing the lawn and edging it and making it nice and trimming the bushes, I don't know, pulling the weeds. You can sit back and say, wow, it looks nice. Ford Raptor, 3K over stickers, scoop the paid for trade. T the traded two autos, two points, and 8K back in total. You should do a car video. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? That does make sense because of the car business out there right now. So you got three over sticker. And the trades. Yeah, the trades. That's where the money was. 23-pounder, that's the trades. Yeah. South Carolina. How are you, buddy? Good morning. Hey, Paul, love the opening of lots of goodies and lots of tie-dye. Yeah. As an actual, I didn't know what it was at first. Um these little canisters. I thought they were like something to hold screws in, you know, or something like that. Um, and May thought, the, the and there's bottles that you shake up that you can squirt, which I guess is used in the process. I don't know anything about tie-dye. I assume it's done. Maybe it's in the, I don't know. But there's rubber gloves, and there's, there's a, a compound, and there's instructions. The books were how to do tie-dye. Uh, May thought they were like like empty bottles to put ketchup in because that's what they use at the restaurants here. And um, at the end of the at the end of the video, I figured it out. I said, ah, oh, that's all the way to make a tie-dye shirt. So I don't know if anybody out here is interested in that. I mean, you're welcome to it if you want it. Um, and there's also a beading kit, beading, you know, you can put beads on hats and stuff. I don't think May wants to do that kind of stuff. So that's that's up for grabs. We'll give it to somebody that wants it. Yeah, uh, we didn't burn them. I don't know what May did with the leaves, to be honest with you. Um, I, I'm finding out more and more about trash pickup. <laughs> Today was trash day. We actually missed it. Um, May came bolting out of the bedroom. Fast. She was fast asleep. And May came bolting out of the bedroom. And was and ran and got the garbage from here, and um, just ran out the door. And what they do is they honk a horn. So <clears throat> I told her, "Well, let's put the garbage out Friday night." And we bought a bigger trash can, by the way. And um, she said, "No, the cats and dogs will get into it," which is another. She's right again. 
So I guess Saturday, it's like, we got to be up at five o'clock and put your trash out. It's all a process. Watch you and you, P, Enrique, and two more. Okay. Both have been on my show. P's been on my show, and so is Rike. Howdy, Paul, hanging out at Mush Mount Rushmore. Wow. I've always wanted to go there. I saw a thing I've done somewhere, YouTube. I don't have a TV set. So, about how long it took to make Mount Rushmore. And um, one guy worked on it from start to finish. In sailboat clips. I don't know what that means. If you tie two chickens together, it's almost the same as a dog. That's true. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. <laughs> Good morning, David. <laughs> Cats are gods. <laughs> I'm not a cat person. <laughs> Good day, Danny. How are you, man? Man, in the back of a semi truck and joining the AC, right on, Henry. You listening to me on the radio? Still in Mexico. Still had taco number seven thousand one hundred. <laughs> I can dig it. <laughs> That's a funny statement. <laughs> I love tacos. Fort Miles, Florida. Good morning, my friend. Corpus Christi, welcome aboard. Wish I had one like P had been around. I wish someone like P had been around six years ago. All right. Good for you. I'm happy for you on that. I haven't got any doses yet. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, that'll, that'll, I don't know what you'll buy with it, but probably a, probably a drape. <laughs> or I think she's, what was she wanting? Another trash can or something. I don't know. Nicky hacky stuff. Thank you very much. Let's see, Fred. Thanks for the reminder of liking. Yeah, please like this. Or, um, <laughs> or nothing, I guess. Yeah, hey, man, what's going on? Bless this to you, too. I have not turned on the AC. Somebody said I should run it to keep the moisture out of the house or I'll get black mold. So I guess we'll have to flip it on for an hour one of these days. Um, this house, by the way, people have asked, I think this house is three years old. Um, and there was a guy living in here for a while. But... He, uh, he got his ass beat, the neighbors. He was a real nasty guy. And uh, there's Jungle Justice out here. And, and he said too much to, too, to the wrong people. And uh, he just got his ass kicked. And now he's no longer here. So, meanwhile, we're handing out T-shirts. <laughs> had a little different approach from the last guy. <laughs> I got a solar and hand crank for the hurricane season started. That's something that you can do out here if you know that you're going to live here forever and um, you find a place um, and brownouts really bother you. There's generators available. I saw a ton of those. I didn't price them out. I don't know one from the other. But um, for me, the fan was the ultimate deal because I if you got up here, if air is moving, um, you're going to be cool. And then the illumination, of course, is needed. We do have little flashlights and stuff already. Um, but during a brownout, we used to um, bail out. If they were lasting for hours, we used to go, God, we got to get out of here. It's so hot. And I won't have that problem here. And I like that. To me, that's freedom is just being able to flip that bad boy on and have some light or not. And so if we have a brownout at, say, 1 or 2 in the morning, which is which happens, that would wake us up, and then we would be grumpy all day because we didn't get a good sleep. 
and then the electricity would come back on. And um, you know how it is when you don't sleep good. So I think that's going to be the primary function. I think we'll keep that fan in the bedroom. And then when the, um, the lights go out, which they will, we'll flip that mother on and uh, go right back to sleep. I hit the like button, needed to take a salt pill, but I made it. Thank God you're okay. Um, you know, and if you get any kind of swelling or anything, make sure you wrap your knee. Okay. <laughs> keep us surprised. Yeah, keep Advil by the bed if you hit the like button. I haven't watched the unboxing, but I love the new house video. Congratulations. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate that. Yeah, the house video was really popular. It took me by surprise. I, I didn't know we would get that many views. But um, it's been rocking and rolling. Oh, good question. We just checked on that. Thank you for asking, David. Um, she's got, we looked at it this morning. She had on our last, when I did a live stream with her, if my if memory serves me correctly, she had something like 663 watch hours. And then a week ago, we did a live stream and we were kind of begging everybody to please watch her videos and turn it on at night and let it just repeat itself. I made her a playlist, finally. Um, and uh, she's up to 2,300. So we quadrupled it almost. Um, or you guys quadrupled it. Another thing about uh, Reza is we blew out her PayPal account. That was me trying to fix it. And I was talking to May and I had, it's my fault. I told May I'm not going to do this ever again until Reza's sitting next to me because something gets lost in communication. And so I was resetting her password. And they were sending Reza codes on her phone. And then May would get the message. And I would type in the code. I changed the password. And then, unbeknownst to me, Reza changed the password. And then PayPal said, guess what? We're canceling your account. <laughs> not, not we're putting it on hold. And it's like, you can't have PayPal. So there is about 18,000 pesos in her account that's frozen for six months. And my suggestion when Risa comes over next time is we're going to do another live stream together. I've got my fingers out of this, but I, I'm going to have her, I'm going to try to convince her just to go ahead and refund everybody their money. I think she can still do that, even though it's frozen. And um, the reason I went into it was a bunch of money was unclaimable. And there was something wrong with verifying her email. And these girls, they changed their names, they changed their emails, they got two emails. And I'm kind of blaming them, but I have to blame myself. So I was trying to help. Intentions were good. Road to hell is paved with good intentions. And she got, I feel bad. There are YouTube videos. I haven't watched them yet on how to fix it. So we will take that approach. Um, I have an issue where a gentleman sent me $250 to pay for IT help of stuff that I'm talking about right here. And uh, PayPal won't give it to me because I've never received a donation that big uh, via PayPal. So they've held my money. So they're kind of an unfriendly group over there at PayPal. But anyway, that's up to speed on that. The only reason I bring that up, kids, is don't send her any more money on PayPal or try to. Because uh, we got the button on there, which I was very proud of. But um, it's not functioning. We appreciate everyone who donated. We're just going to give you back your money and instead of waiting six months. Um, I'll probably go into my own pocket and pay Risa what was in there and um because she was kind of counting on it so that's fine i'll just have to dole it out over two paychecks or something like that to make it work but anyway we appreciate you guys on Reza 
Uh, you've watched her channel. You subscribed. That's awesome. I think she's going to do really good on, on YouTube. She's smart. She's pretty. She has good English skills. And um, she's very natural and real. And I think it's pretty interesting for a province life video type of deal. But I made that big, long speech about the PayPal because I don't want you guys, um, if you didn't get a thank you email or anything, uh, that's simply because, the, like I said, it's all froze up. <sighs> so we're going to try to rectify that this week. But I'm not going to make one more move without her sitting here next to me. And I want her permission. And I don't want to keep going via May to her sister, sister back to May. And every time we had to do a phone or a, a verify or do this and do that for security purposes. And um, it blew up in my face. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, they all work for you now. <laughs> Keep on rocking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, DC. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we still have our little Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea, huh? It's almost Christmas time here in the Philippines anyway. What is that, September? They start hanging at lights. <laughs> good to see you, Tony. Yeah, got to go. Let's meet when we can serve a settlement with Kong. Hope soon. Okay, buddy. See you later. Let's see. Good morning, sir. American expat, United States Air Force retiree from Guam. Okay. Living in Angeles City with dual citizen, USA and Filipino, Filipino wife and son. Just saw your stalking story. Wow, crazy story. Yeah, that was a cat that uh, came from the States. Young guy. Um, people were saying we. I wasn't even going to do a video on our house, but, you know, I don't want to live in fear, and I wanted to show the place, and um, it was one guy one time, so uh, I don't think very many, and he never did any harm, so if somebody wants to find you bad enough, they will, and I just don't want to be intimidated, but thank you for that. Thank you for your service. Thanks for watching the channel. And um, keep on keeping on, brother. I got to do my Angela City crazy weekend video one day. <laughs> How you doing, man? Your dog. All right. Good morning, Robert. How are you, my friend? I heard even if you have the two, I heard even if we have the vaccine, we still have to be quarantined is what you're saying. Um, yeah, you do. It's ridiculous. You're vaccinated, but they'll still put you in um, quarantine over here. Welcome to the Philippines. Philippine logic. But that's why I say the end of the year. Yeah, there was. I, I didn't know that, but um, I've been hearing this story, that story. Again, I don't have a TV. I just watch a little bit of YouTube and um, I quit watching the news and that's, that's like healthy. And, um, but I'm pretty sure we'll get vaccinated here. Some of my friends have already been vaccinated. It's just a matter of me getting my lazy ass over and signing up for it. But I'm kind of a wait and see guy. We could foster dogs from a local shelter when you know you won't be traveling. Uh, that's a thought. In fact, I have a friend that supports the shelter out here. You have a housewarming party, what we have to eat, who will cook, and who will be invited. I don't think we're going to have a housewarming party. Um, I kind of prefer one-on-one -on -one stuff. Like, I've had a couple of people over here already just to hang out and chat. You know, and uh, that's my style. Um, May will have a gaggle of girls over here probably once a month. That's just her style. And at Christmas time, there will be a lot of gatherings. 
But as far as myself, um, I'm not going to do a I'm not going to do a big shindig up here. It's um, again, I just I just prefer it when people come over and we get a chance to visit. You know, Dollar Tree. Yeah, it is. It's just like it's, that's that's with with a unitop. Yeah, <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's built for the male Karens. <laughs> I saw a great comedy bit about male Karens the other day. <laughs> hey, cool. Or the mall's a good place to meet a nice tour guide for the week. Thanks, cheers. You know, I've never, I know what you're talking about. Um, I guess they are. I hear guys talk about meeting girls at the mall. Um, I've never encountered a Filipina that I've met. Um, in other words, I've never approached a woman and said, Hey, how are you? Or tried to pick up on anybody that way. And I've never had it happen to me. I've never been sitting around and have, I, I hear about other guys tell me, Oh, I go to Bo's coffee. and I sit down and the next thing I know, two girls are sitting next to me wanting to get to know me. Well, they must be young, good looking, handsome guys then because that's never happened to me. Um, and I'm not the type of guy to go up and say, Hey baby, <laughs> I, everyone that I've met, and I've met a lot of people, have been either introductions or um, via Facebook. Let's see, whatever happened with your collaboration with an unnamed partner in crime destroyed a new unannounced channel? Did it happen? But, no, it didn't happen, and I don't think it will. <clears throat> um, that whole collaboration is just become... Um, the logistics on it aren't going to work just due to getting together and um, we're separated by distance. We're separated by time. That person is busy. I'm busy and I don't see it happening. Um, I'm still toying with the idea of starting another channel of my own, but right now I'm also Jicky jacking around with Mays and Reezes. So once they get up and running, that'll free me up. I do this as a hobby. And uh, for me, it's really fun and easy. But with May and Reza, it's, it's almost like a job. So I want to get them on their own two feet as fast as possible because I want to get out of it. I mean, you know what I mean? I just don't want to feel like I got to do something. I don't want to show up. Let's see. Yeah, good luck to Jason. He's doing it. He'll be, he'll be fine. Put Dean on. I don't know if I've got that in me today. Bring on. <laughs> oh, we got two in a row. I don't know if Dean's out there or not. I'll have to pull up Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Always, everybody, you know, Jason Evans. Take good thoughts for Jason Evans. God bless you, David. Let's see. Steve Richards, hi from, from Canberra, Australia. Well, God bless. Nice to meet you, man. Yes, I did. I did. I did get her a step stool. We got a, we got a, uh, we got, you know, knucklehead stuff that you don't think of, but we got a, uh, a bigger trash can and a step stool. Oh, I got a little table to sit outside under the patio with four chairs. I uh, got the fans. Uh, May got a blender. But she hasn't put it in here yet because she hasn't got any room. <laughs> but she'll just pull that out when she wants to make a shake or something. And um, what else did we get? Just like a hammer and nails and just just some stuff. You have BPI. That's a bank. I have no clue, buddy. I guess I could ask Google where you could. <laughs> Watching from Bermuda, where is the best place in the Philippines to invest in a condo to relocate? I, I'm not an expert. And I don't give advice, but off the top of my head, if I if someone put a gun to my head, I would say Cebu. But that's just me. 
Don't take that as gospel. There's probably a lot more better information on the net than, he, than from me. Paul, I'm 30 year old dog. I'm 48. Get guaranteed 3100 a month. Wow. Could this be enough for comfortable living? And are there U.S. veteran hospitals near? Okay. Um, comfortable living, that's um, subjective. So what you consider comfortable and I consider comfortable, maybe two different things. I live on approximately $1,500 a month. So you've got double that. So if I had 3,100 a month, um, to be quite frank with you, I wouldn't double up on size and stuff. I wouldn't double my lifestyle. I would save the other half. So but that's just me because I'm happy with what I've got. Um, but there are no VA hospitals near, um, closest that I know of Manila, I think maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't, just, I don't know cause I'm not a veteran, but I think that there's something in Manila. I know there's stuff in Guam, but, um, again, that would be something that maybe Google could help you with better than I can. Greetings from London. Always nice to hear from you. Andy, where is baby May? Baby May's taking a shower. She'll come over and say hi. Or not. Columbia, South Carolina. Nice to see you. How far do I live from the sea? Um, 20 minutes. 25. Would take me out to um, Bacong, where the ocean is. And then if I go to Sabulan and on the road there, depending on traffic, maybe 30 minutes to get to the sea. But I'm not really more than 20 minutes from anything. Yeah, VA clinic in Manila, that's what it is. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right. I did hear that. I'm glad you, you chimed in, Rick, because I'm not a veteran. So I can't really commentate on that. But yeah, in Manila, but you have to have a service-related issue. So I'm imagining if you got wounded or you have a loss of hearing or something like that, that was documented while you were serving, they will take care of it. But if you come up with something new, they won't, is my understanding. They won't treat a cold. Well, Hong, is it, lucky? Is it really? <coughs> Excuse me, Jason. Yeah, well, all of a sudden we got this big surge out here. And so Dumaguete is requiring the shields and the masks and all that other crap. Um, and if you're vaccinated, you still got to go into quarantine. I have a friend that took his daughter to the hospital. She had a fever and he had to quarantine. And um, he said he wanted to do a video about it, but I think he was just being emotional at the time. I mean, he probably doesn't want to do it anymore. He was pissed. <clears throat> yeah, you live okay in Manila. Yeah, that's true. Location, location, location. Out here, I keep forgetting that. Out here where I live, um, it's pretty low rent, but... You can go into the big cities and spend a lot of money. All right, crazy person. Thanks for checking in, buddy. Yeah, we love the new place, too. Thank you. Start the fad back. Oh, raccoons. Yeah, huh? I send today. Let's do another YouTuber from the Philippines. <laughs> That is him. <laughs> he was talking about Filipino girls lying about not being married while they are her husband dead. And went, I, let me read this again. I sent today listening to another YouTube vlogger from the Philippines. And he was talking about Filipino girls <clears throat> lying about not being married while they are or their husband dead. And he is what you say. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, that's a scam. That's a scam, buddy. So what he's asking is, 
Um, well, that's probably online stuff. And I've, I've had scammers over at my house. I did a whole video series on scamming with a scammer. And um, I used to watch her scam people. So uh, that's been on my mind to do. But I've done a video about it. I've then heard the, I want to be redundant. And a lot of people do scammer videos. I guess there's scammers all over the world. I think the Philippines gets a bad rap because they're out of Russia, India, Thailand. No matter where you go, you're going to get scammers. <clears throat> yeah, female, male, whatever. But um, I would do a video on scamming again. And what's been rattling around in my head, though, is coming at it from a totally different angle. And um, as soon as I get it sorted out in my brain, I'll do it. I lost my place here. Where was I? Holy crap, where'd I go? Where did I go? Jeez Louise, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so I think this is here. What's going on, Texas? What's going on in Utah? Um, I was telling my friend yesterday that if he was talking about going back to the States with these kids, and um, I said I would go to Utah for a more family oriented type of state. Thank you very much, Randy. We're digging them, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. If I stop smoking, maybe it'll clear up better. I noticed that all the girls on the dating sites say the age. What? I noticed that all the girls on dating sites say the age they are lookout. I don't quite understand that. <clears throat> Great place. Put me up there. Must really like you. Great deal. God bless you. Thank you very much, Tony. Yeah, we just keep moving up and paying the same amount of rent. But that's a matter of time and luck. The house found us, which is a whole other story. Paul, how much is a pack of smokes? Two bucks. We love your laugh. Makes watching your channel more enjoyable. You have a gift. Oh, thank you. I think I already did that one. 35 to 70 is what they are okay with. Oh, okay. So, the age gap deal. Um, it's, it's a long explanation, buddy. Um, and I come at it from a totally different angle. I come at it from what your agenda is. So I've been scammed. I've talked about that in previous videos. I've been scammed by girls that have boyfriends in person. So online, you have to ask yourself this, I guess. Um, if you're talking to a girl for 30 minutes, let's just say an hour, um, ask yourself two questions. That's one hour out of 24. What is she doing the other 23 hours? And what are you doing the other 23 hours? So there's a video there. I'll do one of these days. Well, Robert, that's, that's a possibility. Nigeria, yeah. They have it. I don't know if they have the boy-girl scam thing. They have more of the uh, opportunist, you know, business opportunity. I'm doing good, James. Thanks for asking, buddy. What brand gimbal is it? What is that thing? A DJM something? Um, it was, it's a good one. And what I was able to do was, um, I'm left-handed, so I don't know if that has something to do with it. But I was pushing the button up, and it would send the video down. And so that was really hard for me to get used to. And I would go right, and it would go left. So my brain doesn't work that way. And the good news is I found a setting on it that allows you to reverse all that. And I forget what they called it, but it was it was almost like uh, it, it was, uh, I'll come up with it. But it was almost a dig at you. <laughs> and you think opposite of what they did. 
<laughs> yeah, beautiful downtown Burbank. Have you vetted that Reza's husband died of cancer? Do I have proof? Um, no, I don't have proof. Got a dead body. How's that? Got a grave. I'm sorry about that, guys. I got lost somewhere. I apologize. Prices of goods are starting to rise pretty significantly as a result of COVID recession. Are you seeing similar trends there? Yeah. Seeing rents go down and uh, price of goods and services go up. Being scammed is part of the deal. You just need to know. Well, if you're online, um, you can get scammed in America. I mean, I feel like the biggest scam I ever had was my two marriages. That's where I lost the money. You notice today that I'm left-handed. Syracuse, New York. How are you, David? So Mark has been up to see your new place. When's the house when we party and barbecue? I'll bring them hot dogs. <laughs> I've been to Mark's place, but he has not been here. We have not communicated hardly at all. I invited him to breakfast, oh man, like three weeks ago. He said, sure, and then we got rained out. So <clears throat> I know he's been busy. I know we've been busy. And he lives down at the beach. I live up in the mountains. And his girlfriend does vlogs. My girlfriend does vlogs. Um, so, you know. Um, it's not a matter of wanting to, it's a matter of just getting it together. And it's tough because you can make an appointment, if you want to call it that, and then get rained out. So I, I hate to plan anything for the next day because I never know what's going to happen. Let's see, it's nice and quiet there at night. You have a cricket, so I love to open the windows in the summer, cooler nights, just hear the crickets. We have, uh, what do they call them? Cicadas, Katie did, I think we used to call them as kids. Um, I haven't seen any crickets. Um, it's cool at night. There's a little bit of traffic now and then because we do live on a road, but it's small. Um, we do have a karaoke singer <laughs> across the street. And I did my damnedest to make sure that we didn't have any karaoke people out here. But here's the good news. The guy that does the karaoke, he lives real close. And he, he does his karaoke maybe five out of seven nights. But he never goes for more than an hour. And he goes almost every night at 730 to about 830. And... Um, and the other good part of the news is if I close the door, I can't hear him. It's only when I'm sitting outside can I hear him. Or if I have the front door open, we can hear him. But if I really want to drown out noise, I just turn on some music on the computer. It was noisier at the apartment when people would gather at the pool and they would turn on music and they would be splashing around on the pool at 6 or 7 o'clock at night. Um, and May and I would close the door. And we could still hear them. And then they would be running up and down in front of the apartment on motorbikes. So this place is a solid 50% quieter than my, my apartment. Yeah, Big Rock. The young ladies on Philip Hill seem to always be scamming. Uh, new house is cool. Yeah, these websites, um, if you're 6,000 miles away and you're chatting with some girl, and she's telling you how handsome you are and how poor she is and how she wants to meet you. And within the first five minutes, she's in love with you. Um, and you send her money. Is it her fault or yours? That's, that's my question. You know, I'll just leave that hanging. You guys can answer that. The weather here is nice right now. Um, it's rainy season. It depends on where you're standing, I suppose. <laughs> the Philippines is a big place, and so I'm only in a little sliver of it. But where I live up in the mountains, um, it's, it's really nice. It's about 70 degrees right now. 
Um, if I was go down into the basin, it'd be about 90. Yes, that was the key. I couldn't get the damn gimbal to work with the Vivo because it has an app on it. And the Vivo, it doesn't have enough processing power to, to work it. The gimbal was flipping out. It was going all over the place. I couldn't get it to cooperate. It wouldn't zoom in. And um, <clears throat> it was just overheating the phone or something. But with the new Samsung, with this whiz-bang friggin' uh, processor it's got, um, it works like a champ. So it's just a matter of time. There's a few buttons on, there's one, two, there's like five or six buttons on the gimbal. And the only thing that it doesn't do that I figured it would is it doesn't switch from, from this view to that view. In other words, I can't be in selfie mode on video and talk to you guys for a minute and then hit a button and have it go to, um, you know, what's around me. It doesn't have that option on it. It's only it, the phone's got to be off. So, um, but it's got this tracking mode on it, which is cool. And I put that on May the other day and we did a couple of practice videos. We didn't open the box, but I said, let me try this. So I just set the gimbal on our little rolling table there and I wanted to see if I could do it without actually holding it. And it didn't come out exactly perfect. So it's better I learned if I actually hold the gimbal and kind of move it around. The tracking is cool, but when tracking is on, um, I can't go to the right and have, let's say, let's say I'm tracking May. If May goes to the left, I can't suddenly go to the right and show you what I'm looking at if we're looking at, say, a resort. That a camera's gonna stay on May 100% of the time. So I've learned that you just have to, um, you have to give a little forethought to what you're gonna be doing. And so the tracking deal, I think I will probably not use very much. Now I can use it when I do a live stream. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, a video um, wherever I'm sitting and that might work because in the future on my videos, I may get up and walk over somewhere and wanna show you something and the camera will friggin' follow me where I didn't have that option before. I had to just stay, you know, stoic on the couch or wherever I was sitting. It's a long explanation, but that's what I like about it. And I'm excited about it because um, it's, it's something where I, I know I'm gonna grow into it. It'll take me longer than most because I'm not that sharp. But uh, as time goes on, I'm sure that uh, I'll get more acclimated to it. If you scroll up, to Ed Super Chat, go to you'll be there. Okay. Then I'll get lost again. See, now I'm at the bottom again. Better watch out, Dean Rotation may be coming to stalk you. <laughs> yeah, I could. I can do a lot of stuff. Um, I haven't done it yet, but I've never been much of an outside guy for the simple reason that the videos were shaky and the audio was crappy. So the other cool thing is with this phone, and I don't know if it's just because of the app on the gimbal or what, but it seems like I don't need to use a microphone. So, um, I've still got another wireless microphone coming. I went ahead and paid for it. And I just found out I got to pay another $12 for extra shipping or some crap. So that was the worst move I ever made was dealing with Sabine Tech. I just found out that Boya's got the same thing with a self-containing case. It's a better deal, but such is life. Anyway, um, once the wireless mic comes in, that'll be, that'll be even more fun outside because may could be so many you know meters away from that meters but but um yeah meters away from me feet and, and i'd be able to pick her up and talk to her and so i think with the gimbal oh 
And this is what we did on the unboxing video. I shot it on my phone and May showed me <laughs> how to upload it to her channel. So we'll be able to use my phone and gimbal for May's videos now because her phone is a year old. Of course, that's, you know, ancient in phone life. Um, phones are like dog years, right? And so um, I'm happy about that. I can go just, and it's got a ton of storage. So we'll be able to do both channels on my phone and gimbal and then just upload it to her channel. So she won't have to be um, um, using her old phone anymore. And it gets me out of buying her a new one. <laughs> Saskatchewan. And I caught walleye. I caught pike. And um, not walleye. What am I talking about? Yeah, walleye. Walleye, pike, and um, what the hell else did I get? It was such a big thing, and now I can't remember. It'll come to me. But Saskatchewan, Canada. Let's see. Not about this game, but when an expat moves to Philippines and meets a woman in real life, and she doesn't want to admit she is still technically married, even though separated, that can cause legal problems. Yeah, there's a vetting process. <clears throat> and there's really nothing that you can do Um I don't know. You know, some women are going to lie to you. Some men are going to lie to the women. Um, personally, I think more men lie to the girls than the girls lie to the guys. But that's just my humble opinion. Um, but I've thought about that. If May and I got married and I died, now she's got to go through this whole thing if she meets somebody else. So I don't know if that would benefit her. The only benefit would be if we move to the States. Um, I met a number of women that lied to me about how old they were, how many kids they had. Um, one was living with a guy and had two kids and pretended to be single. Um, I've been up and down the, the block on all that stuff. And you just have to find out what's going on. Eventually it comes out and just be prepared to, to move on. You say, okay. If she's lying to me now, she's going to be lying to me in, in, a, in a year. Um, that's no way to start off a relationship in my mind. So it's okay. You know, you bump into all kinds of people and all walks of life everywhere you go. And um, you just have to make a judgment call. Yeah, I'm in my right mind because I'm left-handed. <laughs> Everything gets reversed. I'm sorry about the comments I missed, and I would have gone back up, but I would have just got lost again. I know myself. <clears throat> no, he has not. See, so you get the same questions. I don't have a tight eye t shirt, but my favorite shirt, I can't talk right now. I'm busy doing old fat guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was May's shirt, right? <laughs> I don't do any voting. Zero. August 13th is Left Handers Day. We didn't know that we had a day. It's a day for everything. Are you practicing keto anyway? No. No, I'm not. That was something I did do, and I had great success with it. <laughs> and then <laughs> the wheels fell off that bus. And, um, the whole genesis of me falling off the diet is there was a place that I was going called Belcrest that was selling <clears throat> all the food that I could eat every day, the protein that I liked. Um, they ran out of stock during COVID. So they ran out of, there's three different items that I was eating on a regular basis, pure protein, uh, steak, salami, and then a certain cheese. And all three of them are gone. So I cannot fathom eating. Um, and I like eggs and I like bacon and all that. Um, ham is fine. But the I like red meat. And that's what they had. And they don't have it now. 
uh, what they do have is out of my price range. But I never felt better than when I did a two-day fast, 48 hours. I didn't eat a thing. I just stayed on water. And so that is on my radar. I'm going back to Bellcrest Monday to see how they're doing. And then I also got word that there's another place that's opened up that would have the same kind of food that I'm trying to get a hold of. So I know that's a long-winded answer, but I love the intermittent fasting. In fact, I love fasting, just going all day without food. However, this last few months, um, I, I got lazy, number one. And number two, especially last month, We've been eating a lot of fast foods and junk and uh, and uh, time to give it a time to time to reboot the diet. <clears throat> about half, about half price. What's up, Daddy O? I don't know, Bill Murray. We're gonna find out. Let's see, depending on where you're from, fifty to seventy percent less. Yeah. Yeah. I said half, but I'm being conservative. It could be a lot, lot more. Depends. I mean, if you live in the San Francisco, it's going to be way less. If you're living in um, I don't know, Alaska, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. They're they're going right now. I love the sound of them. Is it a 17 year cycle? Is it really? I love the nature sounds here. I really do. The, um, the chickens don't bother me. Got that right. The world's greatest scam is marriage. I guess we're anti-establishment. John Cusack said it's best when asked why he was there. His answer society doesn't tell me what to do. Yeah, so there's a lot of whining and, and complaining. And I've done my share of it about guys getting scammed online, getting scammed in person, buying the girl the house, and then she kicks him out. Here in the Philippines, well, you know, you're a 70 year old man and you're with a 22 year old girl. Big surprise, right? <clears throat> but I've never been scammed worse than than and this truth uh, than my two marriages. <laughs> Do you have to say that when you're? It's it's optional either way. It's what you negotiate. Um, I told them when I moved in here I was going to go month to month. And something got lost in translation and they dropped a piece of paper saying it's a one year lease and it's in May and my name and I'm going to sign it. I'm going to have May sign it for a number of reasons. Number one, I can always break a lease. <clears throat> and number two, um, I do see a stain here. We stayed at the last place for 11 months. I didn't even know that much time went by. And, um, so I don't see any reason not to. If I take a trip and go back to the States for two months, I would just pay up two months worth of rent here and then give me a budget for when I get back, until I get back. So I don't have any problem with this. I can see already that we're happy. So, and I like the fact um, that it has her name on it for a change. Because when there's going to be a time where May and I are going to want to go together outside the country. And they love the fact that there's a sponsor, if you will, for the woman, someone that she's with, so that she'll come back. Um, and that's why I'll do a video about this, but we opened up a joint checking account, a savings account, I'm sorry. And I'll, I'm going to do a video about that, which I think you guys will find interesting. Hello, Puerto Rico. Let's see. Definitely need to get, out of, get, get used to the gimbals. Yeah, it's it's a process, bro. I mean, it's um, I was actually so frustrated with this one because I it's a DJM four, um, and it was like the best on the market. Got great reviews. I can see why, but the reviewers that you watch would be doing everybody a solid. If they said, by the way, you're going to need this much processing speed on your device that you're attaching it to, uh, and they don't do that. 
So I was getting really frustrated with myself. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? This thing's not working. This button doesn't work. And it wasn't me. It was a friggin' phone. I didn't know that. Um, so anyway, that being said, um, I was starting to look for gimbals that were, if they make such a thing, that didn't have any electronics attached to them. Just could, you know, like a, a little um, deal that you could hold the phone with that would keep it stable on some sort of little gyroscope deal. Hey, Jeff, how are you, buddy? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, most of my videos are just me sitting on the couch, so how stable does it need to be? But um, May's videos, and I've done videos with her where we're walking around a resort or something, and it's a bitch trying to do that with these microphones attached, and you're holding it, and you stumble, and you're trying to watch where you you got to watch where you're walking at all times. Uh, out here, especially, because there's no level surfaces. And so, you know, your hand's going to shake. And um, I knew it was shitty quality. <laughs> and May does it in selfie mode, which is even harder. So, um, <clears throat> but she likes to be in the video. So what I'm going to do from the future, um, not all of them, but it's actually a better dynamic, I think, if May can walk and I can video her instead of her trying to hold the camera. And if we get this wireless mic thing figured out, then she can talk and I can talk. And I just think it'll make for her channel, especially a better, a better quality video. <clears throat> Let's see. I met my Filipino wife on Plenty of Fish, but the scammers were all here in the USA. Yeah. I remember Plenty of Fish. I remember that website. I don't know if they still have that. Do I miss the United States? Not really. I miss some things about it. I like driving. Um, I like driving out on the open road. I, I like driving cars. Uh, so I miss that. Um, of course, I miss family and friends. But... Um, The state that it seems to be in, it doesn't look like I'm missing anything. Yeah, it's on May's channel. We opened up one box. So today with Baby May, make sure you watch your video. Yeah, it was. A, it, I was really surprised, David, that um, through the app and on the phone without any microphones, you could actually hear May. So the front and the back mics on that phone were were well on their own. Now, I don't know if that has something to do with the gimbal app or not. Um, that would be a question for somebody that knows what they're talking about. But I've been jacking around with the volume and the uh, audio on that phone. And so I think I'm getting it figured out. It's a process. Thanks for hanging in there with me. <laughs> what did you use to play at the casinos of Vegas? What was your biggest win? Any good stories from the trip? When I played, I would play video poker, and I hit um, back to, not back to back, but I hit two royals, uh, one for $5,000, and then about 10 minutes later, one for $10,000. So those were my biggest wins. I lost a lot more than that, though. Please buy it instead of a bundle of sticks, you big spender. Buddy, she won't use it. I'm telling you, she won't do it. It's just the way it is. I've tried. I've said a rake, you know, but no, they've got their ways of doing it, buddy. Hey, thank you very much, my friend. Good morning, Alabama. So May's got to be somewhere at 9 o'clock, so I'm going to have to bail out of here in about 15 minutes. I It does. It does, Robert. I was thinking clearer. I felt a lot better. Um, there was nothing negative about it. And you get used to the hunger. You get you get past it. Um, but for some reason, like I said, I was not able to obtain the foods that I had, I had worked on. And next time they become available, that's why I bought that freezer. 
So I could, if I do find something, damn, I'll just buy the whole thing if I can afford it and freeze it. But that's coming. No, never. Thank you for the $5, Cripsman. Appreciate that. But um, sourdough bread? No. No, never seen it. It is. It just makes you feel great. Yeah, <laughs> I hear you, buddy. Um, that was also another reason, believe it or not, that I didn't want a TV. And I still don't have one. Because I'm, I tend to graze when I watch TV. Um, nighttime is snack time, you know. And uh, it doesn't take much for me to break open a bag of chips or some ice cream. And May's always buying crap for herself, which I don't want to deny her. But I see it laying there, so I go eat it. And then um, I think the TV set was one of my big enemies, too. So now... Um, I just kind of sit outside and jack around on my phone and watch a little bit of YouTube. But um, it was the nighttime eating. So we'll see what happens. I don't want to make announcements and then not follow through on it, but you'll, you guys will tell me. Let's see. Southeast Asia have great Japanese four cylinder diesel cars and trucks, many with standard transmission that runs forever. Just a recommendation in your car search. I wish you could buy one, but for planned obsolescence. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of diesel and I like automatic, but there's, um, San Juan Union vlog was telling me that I could buy a new car for $10,000. So I told my guys to be on the lookout for a car. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Thank you very much. Thanks, JC. We're really happy with it. New place looks great. How's the time? There's 8.30 here in the West AM. It is 8.30 right here. So I guess we're on the same time frame. And we're going to be bugging out in about 15 minutes. May? Yep. What time do you have to be there? 10. Oh, 10. Oh, okay, so we got some time. You want to say hi? I'm watching Okay, I do one meal a day, eat carnivore and fast 48, 72 hours once a week. So far, I've lost 80 pounds. My head is so much clearer and I have a lot of energy and I got 80 more to go. Good on you. Um, yeah, the carnivore deal. I love steak and I can't get it anymore. I get burnt out on chicken and pork chops. Hi, baby, babe. Hello, good morning. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Thank you for watching. Coffee? You want coffee? Yeah, sure. Excuse me. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. But the fast, I don't know if I can do 72 hours. But I'll start off with 24-hour fast, without one meal a day, and you do the eight-hour window. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's not a foot race to me. You know, it's, it's um, one of those slow things. Good morning, Marilyn. Yeah, they still have PLQ. Yeah, it, I don't know what that is. What's PLQ? P P O F. What's P O F? What am I missing? So Paul Junior. and see, only two years old. So Regis has passed away two years ago. Uh huh. How long ago did um? Regis, one year. One year he died. So the babies were one year old when they died, when he died? Uh, eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Okay, so the babies were eight months old when uh, her husband died. Coffee. Let's see, where did I go? Thanks, Mama. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. No sugar, no carbs. Absolutely better. It's a great diet. Thank you, Toby. Appreciate you, brother. No. <laughs> Not for me. Everybody else seems to be doing videos on it, so watch them. <laughs> I 
saw that today in like three or four different channels. I never watch them, but they're all uh, talking about when it's going to open and the vaccine and travel plans. And it's like, good on you. <laughs> yeah, and a probiotic is necessary too. Good morning, says Travel Vlogs. <laughs> Be safe and healthy. Peace and prayers for all. Thanks, brother. <laughs> all right, man. Love you, dude. See you later, baby. The mystery box. It looked cool. Loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see what's in there. There's like eight or nine boxes out there. So I can't wait to see what's going on. Oh, good morning, May. Okay, she just left. She's trying to get ready. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's a good idea. I used, um, I don't think I've ever seen sunflower seeds out here now that you mention it, but peanuts. I found that peanuts were um, acceptable, acceptable snack, especially when you're getting started on it. So when you get started on it, you don't want to get discouraged, but it really worked good for me. And uh, I simply got off of it because they ran out of friggin' food. That's the God's truth. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here to read it, sweetheart. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> She's good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> May says hi to everybody. Thanks, guys. She made a, a pop in, but she's trying to get ready. She's going to help her sister um, do some catering today. In fact, it's at Big Rock, our old apartment complex. Um, the wife is celebrating her birthday, um, Alma, and she's a super sweet lady. So there's a party today at three o'clock, I think. And we're going to go over this morning and May's going to help her sister set up. They hired May's sister to um, do the catering for about 50 people. And I don't think we're going to be around at three o'clock. So we're going to go over this morning and I'm going to wish her a happy birthday. And I got her a bottle of wine and then um, want to say happy birthday to her. And May's going to help her sister and I'll probably just hang out with Thomas and shoot the shit. And then um, we'll probably stay till 11 or so. She's going at 10 now, she said. I thought it was nine. And so we'll go see them. And then uh, if we can get back around three or four, we will. If not, we won't. Oh, plenty of fish. Yeah, POF. I couldn't figure out what you were talking about. Plenty of fish. That was an old, uh, that was a, uh, yeah, thank you guys. It was an old dating site thing. I don't think I was ever on that. I think, where was I? I don't know. It's better. It's a lot better. Coffee makers need to get replaced after a while. They just kind of like. You should put, I don't know, on all thumbnails. <laughs> yeah. I'm not vaccinated now. <laughs> Philippines logic for this thing is going to be a lot of drives me crazy. <laughs> you should try Thai logic too. <laughs> they definitely think different. After 48 hours, you have, yeah. That's, that's the key. Um, if I eat any kind of thing, if I, if I was to eat a donut right now, for example, with sugar and carbs, my blood sugar would drop within 20 minutes and I would have to woof down a bunch of food to compensate for it. But if I was to eat bacon and eggs right now, um, it doesn't have that effect. So I just know by the way my body reacts, the insulin reacts to sugar and carbs, that's bad for you. So you can stay on all protein and then after 48 hours or after after a certain amount of time, pretty soon the hunger just kind of has a way of passing. Your body adjusts. And I watched a video a couple of months ago on two brothers that did a 30-day fast and they went out into the middle of friggin' nowhere so they weren't near a anything to tempt them <laughs> and uh they didn't need to fast they were 
already, you know, young and healthy and thin, but they, they did it. Let's see, have I ever been to Naga? I would like to take you to dinner. Well, buddy, I've never been to Naga, but if we come in there, we'll, we'll take you out. How's that sound? Well, I made the mystery box it was like Christmas for me. And also, yeah, I'm going to let May open them all because she gets excited. And then what I was thinking about doing was having, um, when Reza comes over, we'll uh, have Reza and May do it. And then maybe when she has a couple of friends over, there's four of them can do it. They can knock out two of them. I was going to do it on a live stream, but I don't see it being feasible with the, um, I guess I could do it, but it would take a lot of setup, and I don't really want to do it. Um, I want the girls to do it. They have too much fun with it. There is see, the reason I am curious about Reza's husband is because of due to Overstay Road, and he dated three young people. They were on the first date. All of them said their husbands are dead. Oh, okay. Well, you're um, perfectly... Um, You're, you're perfectly entitled to know the truth and ask questions. Ask questions, demand answers. That's that's a good philosophy, I think. It's what I learned from my old boss. So I am probably guilty on some of the facts that I throw out on May's channel or about May's family because of lack of communication. I'm trying to figure out, and she's got three sisters, and two of them got dead husbands. And so... You know, it, some things get mixed up, trust me. Um, but that was a solid question. Yeah, if she's dead, how old were they? Well, I just verified with May that the babies were eight months old when he died. I know he died because I was with May when he died. So, um, and he died of cancer. So, it's just one of life's blows. And it's, and, you know, her sister, it's been about a year. And she really didn't put herself into the mix. She did a mourning period after after her husband died. Oh, and I keep seeing her husband, but they were never married. They were just, you know, partners. Where do you get your news? I don't. Every now and then I read something on um, on Facebook, but it's not Facebook news. It's like local newspaper news. I get my best news from talking with other guys that have been there and done that. And I get out enough that um, I'll bump into somebody that just say came back from Cebu. And I'll say, well, what was that like? And they'll tell me it was a total friggin' nightmare or it went well. One of the two. Let's see. They ever get rid of those plastic feet? No. 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 Plastic. Oh, good for you. Oh, you're out there in Dallin. Okay. It's raining in Dallin. Yeah, it's rainy season, huh? I don't know what's going to happen um, today. We should, we should uh, do a split screen sometime. Yo, you have to pay for plenty of fish now. Isn't that special? <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Thank you very much, Toby. <laughs> and there she is. Hello, good morning, single mom, Reza. Congratulations. And I told everybody about your PayPal being screwed up. And um, I took I picked the billet for that. And single mom, Reza, you guys subscribe and watch her videos. She's got about 1,700 hours to go. She went from 600 hours or 700 hours to 2,000 hours plus. So she's very appreciative of that. And next time you come over, little lady, we'll do a live stream together. And um, we'll get everybody everything straightened out. And we'll keep promoting you. And you keep putting out good content. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye, Risa. <laughs> Yeah, a number of my guys, uh, uniquely extra, is saying here, if you're listening on, uh, and you can't see me, uh, Paul, the Philippines is offering the vaccine to seniors. Dennis in Davao City just got his first shot. A number of guys here got their shot. Um, they've got it here. They keep running out, but 
they keep replenishing it. And so I've just got to get my, uh, my name on a list. I hope the chainsaw doesn't bother you there in your new location. That's the one of the reasons we moved it also an unstoppable blackout. I haven't had a chainsaw yet. And I was just saying to the kids that um, I've got one karaoke guy across the street, but he only goes for about 45 minutes or an hour. And it's, uh, I got more noise at Big Rock just by people congregating at the pool, playing music, yelling, screaming, shouting. I had their motorbikes driving past my front door because that's how we parked them. And it was not a deal breaker, but I'm just saying in comparison. And I had chickens. And on Sunday, a church was next door, so they would sing Saturday night and all day Sunday. So out here, it's quieter. And the chainsaw is the, she's right. That's the most brutal sound you'll hear. They go on and on and on, don't they? <laughs> so I got to figure that's kind of a seasonal thing when they're trimming back stuff. Let's see, is base hometown Duma? No, it's uh, Chateau, about an hour from Duma Getty. Hey, Ottawa, Canada, how you doing, buddy? Mike in the Philippines. I guess you've got a channel too, huh? I'm sorry. Did I miss you? I'm sorry. I do that. That's true. You know what, Greg? That's a good point. I do ask you guys what's going on. What's the latest? And and you guys tell me. Yeah, that's true. Um there are no safety standards out here for one thing. So accidents, I watch these guys climb up, you know, telephone poles, if you want to call them that, uh, with flip flops on no helmet, no shirt, just a pair of shorts and flip flops. And they're working with electrical <laughs> and, uh, same thing with digging trenches, same thing with, um, medical conditions that could easily be treated. Um, I have a friend of mine of just a, tragic story of a guy whose seven-year-old son died because he was misdiagnosed. He had diabetes and they misdiagnosed it, if you can believe that. And the little boy passed away. They were treating him with antibiotics for, for diabetes. Hey, Don. Try to make it a little brighter from now on. YT, U2, is that what that means? What does that mean? I says, well, everybody's chatting. I love that. Yeah. Everybody saying hi to Reza, say hi to Reza, say hi to Sess. Did you go to the Cliff House and not invite me? Thanks. We went there the other day. Let's see how many Reza visits everyone. Oh, thanks so much, brother. We appreciate it so much. When she gets there, we'll stop bugging you guys to do that. When is the next full screen Dean live stream? I don't know. I don't know. Not today. We've got to keep Dean at it. <laughs> I need to make an announcement if I have Dean on next time. <laughs> Let's see. If the husband dies, does the woman need to file paperwork with the state? Does the government oh, update the records that the Filipina is single again? Well, that's the thing is um, she was never married. So that's why I was saying it's almost a benefit to May to not be married to me because there is a thing I think it's called a senator or something like that and it's kind of like a background check and you have to get one of those saying that you're you're no longer married due to death or divorce but there is no divorce out here there's only annulments so an annulment can take five years and be very costly um, the benefit to marrying May is if we went to the States and then we would live there five years consecutively and she would get dual citizenship and she would be entitled to my benefits. 
So that would be a motivator right there. I know guys that get married. I know a guy recently got married just because of his visa situation. And I thought, well, that's a shitty reason to get married. But do what you want to do. Dave is a good man. Hello from New Zealand. I was at Cliff House last with King and Vicky. It's a good food there. And lovely to hang out with friends. I didn't know King was in town. And yeah, Cliff House is awesome food. We did a little video from there. If you refuse to discuss Reza's husband, wait, you refuse to discuss Reza's husband. My only recourse is to have a private investor. But that's the real story. I have connections in the Philippines. What the fuck is that all about? I just discussed her husband. <laughs> I have connections. Who? <laughs> yeah, I have a number of them. <laughs> the rooster is the rooster, buddy. Good morning, Mr. Ron. Yeah, I just discussed the whole thing about Reza. Let me put this back up. <laughs> Look at this chowder head. <laughs> you know, he knows people, by the way. <laughs> okay, you do that right. <laughs> We're, I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Why would we scam somebody about that? <laughs> That's kind of a cold-blooded thing to say about a woman who lost her husband or boyfriend. You know, so go after yourself. How's that? Yeah. 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 My dad's doing good. I am looking forward to seeing him. See, this is one of these guys that... Um, what was I reading about? Um, oh, this is a male Karen. This is a male Karen. They're, they're pissed off at everybody and everything. Uh, they're victims. Everybody's a racist. Everybody's a scammer. Um, Ray is, is, is on a mission because he's going to do some good. And he's got an imaginary scam going on here. And, you know, it just goes on and on. See, normally I put these guys in timeout or block them, but I'd rather call their asses out. So that's what you are, Ray. You're a male Karen. And I can't wait for you to expose us because I've been to the grave. Hey, K9 is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not in the Philippines. <laughs> Mr. Adobo, Mr. Old Ball Bag, Old Tricks. You guys must be pretty you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, you know, you should just hang with it. It's just like background noise, right? Yeah, she is an amazing girl. All these people have channels I don't know about. Who's Vicky? <laughs> I'm really liking my new house. <laughs> hey, Paul, you think home prices have dropped due to COVID? Uh, I think they, I, well, rents have gone down. Um, I don't know about home prices. I'm not shopping for a house. But I, rents are going down, supply and demand, right? Um, a lot of foreigners left. And none are coming in. And so um, prices for foreigner type of residences, I guess I should say, have a lot of vacancies. And believe it or not, they're still building more because they started projects prior to the pandemic. So right now is a great time to be shopping for an apartment or a house to lease or rent. Um, and when they open up the borders, 
prices will go back up, which is another reason why I'm motivated to go ahead and sign a one-year lease for the first time. <laughs> I think I got a pretty good deal on this place. Cinemar, that's what it is. It's a Cinemar. Single mom reason. Thank you so much, Paul. And thank you, everyone, for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Well, God bless you, baby. You deserve it. And don't pay attention to the male Karens that are out there. And, um, oh, never mind. <laughs> you need to bring her over to a fiance. But she, yeah, that's true. That's true. I would do that. Um, and that would be the only reason that I would get married to May. I think that getting married to May out here would actually be detrimental to her. You know, I mean, every girl likes to sit. She's never been married. Um, I'm sure she'd love to have a ceremony and a gown and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm a little more pragmatic than that. And I try to look at her future with me. And so if I was going to move back to the States and take May with me, we would go on a fiance visa. We would get married and I would try my best to stay alive for another five years <laughs> so that she could get my benefits. <laughs> Why is Ray fixing on getting to the bottom of the husband issue? <laughs> He's a Karen. He's a male Karen. You know what a male Karen is? <laughs> and uh, a troll and a narcissist and uh, wants to call something good bad and it's actually kind of cruel you know to be saying that a person who's hu not husband I keep calling him a husband but whose life partner father of her children passed away and he's uh, calling it a scam so uh, you know that's a little cold blooded on that one wait <laughs> Thank you, Toby. Appreciate you, man. Let's see. King is moving back to the province. I haven't heard from her. I didn't even know she was in town. Do you have 220? Yes. Yes, we do. Yeah, I know people. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> May knows people too. May's brothers. <laughs> yeah, he's connected, you know. He's probably sitting somewhere in uh, the middle of Nebraska. <laughs> Connections. <laughs> I want you to bet that guy. Is nowhere in the Philippines. <laughs> Single mom reason she rocks. He's off his meds. <laughs> That's just it. He knows people. <laughs> hey, Paul, why do you always attract all the wackos every time I listen to you? Some idiot comes on and says, Something like the guy who talked about Risa. It just comes with the territory, bro. And then it's actually, actually, I've been, I was just thinking the other day, I said, man, I haven't had any trolls lately. And uh, I guess I should not have those thoughts. <laughs> so that ding -a came along. And uh, uh, I kind of like, you know, it's really easy to block those guys and just not even have them in the conversation. But there's, there's certain days where I feel like just calling them out. <laughs> Thanks again, Toby. You're going nuts with those super stickers, buddy. <laughs> Time to put Ray to sleep. <laughs> but you know what it is, is um, I think you guys find it entertaining to see the the, the real side. You know, you can, you, you can paint this this perfect picture of your life and all that kind of stuff. 
but I like to show the underbelly along, uh, along with the good. I like to show the bad. So they take you guys along for the ride. And none of you take him seriously. And none of you have that thought about Riza. It's just one of these guys. <laughs> the number of girls Dean has had with him doubles every time he's on the live stream. <laughs> I think we'll bring Dean on next time. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. What is today? Today is what? Friday or Saturday? <laughs> Dean's a lot better than Ray. At least Dean tells the truth. He doesn't make false accusations. <laughs> yeah, I got a new one. <laughs> what was his name? Ray? I wonder where he came from. He's probably an old one that just changed his name. That's probably Harriet. Remember Harriet? <laughs> I heard no new mothers are naming their newborns Karen these days. <laughs> I, hear, I watched the funniest eight minute video. You guys asked me what I watch <laughs> of comedians doing bits on Karens. And now they've got this thing about male Karens. And they said that uh, the average age of a Karen is somewhere between divorce and menopause. <laughs> Good evening, Paul. I enjoy watching your amazing adventures. I miss living in the hall. I love that I can't wait to get back. Well, we hope you get back soon, buddy. <laughs> hey, Baloo John. Hello, diggity dog. How you doing, Dusty Passport? Great name. <laughs> <laughs> Try K9. We just roll with it though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, thumbs up. That gives me a thumbs up, guys. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He's there actually next to you. Paul, help me. <laughs> actually, they should get a return. I have to get info on leaving USA. I'll help you. <laughs> it's no problem. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome, Reason. God bless you, Ted. Great picture. <laughs> Yeah, he's got me shaking. <laughs> what part of middle America do you think he's sitting in? <laughs> wow, Ray is nuts. What a Karen. I don't know if you know why, but I just got out. I just came out for the seventh time. God. Yeah, have Ray check that out because he knows people. <laughs> yeah. Um, Totally goes against what I thought should happen, but home prices and cars is going through the ceiling in America. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm so fortunate. I have all my friends with all these massive connections. <laughs> yeah, it's a I'm done. <laughs> Hi, Paul from New Zealand. Yeah, but I think I got a good deal on the replay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm not a Karen, but I am a Ken, except they don't have a six packs. Like, you know. <laughs> what do they call them? The, the, I call them male Karens, but they also call them Brads. <laughs> 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 Well, I'll tell you one thing about the the, the, the rays of the world is everybody's a racist. <laughs> what a terrible thing to say to Reza about a dead partner. I've been married for nine years. Filipinos are not scammers. Walk a mile in their shoes, Ray. Like your life. I agree with that. I mean, it's one thing to troll me and all that, but to go after the girls, I've always said, is wrong. Um, and to... Uh, I think, was he questioning 
like the time of, it was either, well, am I getting him confused with somebody else? Because somebody was asking, you know, how long was she with? And he's verifying. And then all of a sudden, was it the same guy? I'd have to go back and look, which I'm not going to do. But um, you should ask questions and demand answers. That's fine. Yeah, especially if you're like interested in Riza, you should ask questions and demand answers and make sure that it's not a scam. But once it's been verified, let's, let's get off the bandwagon here. Now he's taking stabs, cheap shots. Um, I've heard there's all kinds of snakes out here and I've never seen one. People were warning me about snakes here at the house. I guess they're here, but I've never seen one. <laughs> Let me bring over Risa three. She's beautiful. Yeah, she is a beautiful girl. Thank you for that. What's the saying? I have high friends in places. <laughs> yes, Tom. King Cobras are filled with the one in the rice fields. They won't find you in the subdivisions. Um, I guess there's certain places for them. And I think they, they dig holes or something, but I don't know. Again, there's tree snakes. I know a guy down the road's got a tree snake that are very passive. So... Um, and some kind of like three-step viper or something like that, where if it, it's the type where if it bites you, you do three steps and you're dead. But um, I've never seen a snake out here. It's just the God's truth. He's the only connection that you're going to his mom upstairs from the juice box. <laughs> yeah. What was that movie where um, <laughs> he was yelling for meatloaf? <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking the other day, I said, man, you know, when I have any trolls, that's been nice. And here comes Ray. <laughs> okay, Greg, watch me. I'm Filipino with great connections. <laughs> I'm a Karen Magnet. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> Can you say girl cheese and tomato soup, <laughs> Jaren? <laughs> <laughs> Troll can be entertaining. <laughs> it's stupid, but funny. Yeah, but I thought it was below the belt because it was dealing with something that really happened, and it's it's a tragic thing to have, you know, three children become fatherless, and um, you know the little girl trying to make a make her way in the world. So I've always told the trolls, pick on me all you want. I don't give a shit. Um, I've been beat up by the best. I was in the car business for 40 years. So if you think you're going to grind on me, think again. <laughs> I've been handled by experts. But going for the girls, no. It just ain't right. So if Ray pops back up, I'll block his ass. We've heard enough of him. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, do keto. The whole key, if you don't want to fast or anything, that's fine. No, because that can get uncomfortable for some people. And it may not be healthy for some people. But you have an eight-hour window. So, like, let's just say 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock at night. You can eat all the protein you like. So, you can eat a steak at noon. And then at 1 o'clock, you can have a couple of hard-boiled eggs. And at 2 o'clock, you can have a plate full of bacon. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. You don't have to, you know, just have one meal. As long as it's no carbs, no sugars. And um, there's a list of fruits like avocado is really good. Um, butter is okay. Um, and, but at 8 o'clock, you stop. And you don't eat again until noon the next day. And that cycle itself will start a, a, a ketosis reaction in your body where it starts to eat its own fat, starts living off of the stored fat. And then if you fast, that really kicks it up. And then if you combine fasting with a total of 45 minutes of exercise per day, that'll super accelerate it. So that's kind of my plan. I'm going to do a 15-minute walk three times a day on my fasting day and um, hopefully every day depends on the weather and then um, 
the eight hour cycle. And I found it to be after the first couple of days, we were a little uncomfortable, but I had a TV set. And I think not having a TV set is the key. Um, I, I just go to sleep now. May pooped out at six o'clock last night. Yeah, no, no, you're right, Dan, Dan. There is no comparison. And I, I dig Alpha Dean because he's just like, he's out there, but at least he's honest about himself, right? And then Ray, you know, he's just one of these, uh, he's a Karen. Everybody's a racist. Everybody, everybody's making making me feel uncomfortable. I really do know people. <laughs> so Daniel's saying that he, he really does have clearance, but you know Ray is not his name to begin with. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, I actually, when I first started getting trolls back, I was confused because I didn't know what the deal was. Uh, it's like, what did I do wrong? Like when I first had the channel and um, it was a couple of guys that were just professional trolls. So I looked them up and I found that they're all, um, for the most part, um, narcissists. And if you look up the definition of a narcissist, um, they're never wrong. You can't argue with them. So the last thing I would want to do is try to get into a debate one-on-one -on -one with one, because even if I won every, let's say there were 10 points made throughout the debate, me and a guy named Ray, and he's on half the screen. I'm, if I won all 10 points, which I'm confident I could do, boom, I'll just shut you down there. Okay, say something else, boom, I'll shut you down on that one. Boom, 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 boom. He would still say he's right and not, and not accept that he's wrong. You can't win, so why go into why go into an unwinnable battle? So I just try to ignore him for some reason for entertainment. I let Larry Ray come on today. <laughs> I would. Um, I've been to both places, and I prefer Thailand. I don't know. I guess the internet's okay over in Thailand, um, but I don't think the visa situation over there is friendly at all so you know philippines i hate to give advice but buddy um from what little i know about philip i mean about thailand right now is i've got a couple of guys here that said it was untenable the way that the thai just were, didn't want you there long term the thais want you to show up for two weeks drop a lot of cash and go, go the hell home um, but they don't want you there a long time, according to people that I know. Hey, I know people. <laughs> I know that's brutal for the real Karens of the world. I have a really good friend named Karen Gonzalez, so <laughs> I hope she doesn't get offended. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's what we need for Dean, a safe word. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Viva la Trolls, yeah. They do add a little spark to the channel every now and then. It's okay. I just really, really, really get pissed off when they talk about the women. Like I said, come after me all you want. But he was calling me a scammer, so that's okay. Henderson, Nevada, one of the safest cities in America. Right next door to one of the most dangerous cities in America. Happy Independence Day. Is today Independence Day out here? Probably is, and I don't know it. Okay, babe. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he went. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> He's probably busy starting his investigation and calling in all the people he knows. <laughs> watching you is like watching a long TikTok. How about next time we have Dean on? What do you say, kids? I think so. <laughs> yeah, poor Ray. <laughs> He's so lonely. <laughs> Ray knows me. He can get us all. <laughs> Yeah, why don't you do something with all that information and knowledge? 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you guys are funny. Yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> His mac and cheese is ready. <laughs> I got the funniest guys here. <laughs> Do you AVR for electronics? I, you know what, buddy? I don't know what AVR means. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm old and feeble. <laughs> Me and I was trolling in the supermarket last week. <laughs> What's the worst scammers or trolls? Um, I think scammers are are enabled by the people being scammed, to be honest with you. So the trolls just come out of nowhere. They don't have anything to offer. They just make a bunch of comments that aren't true and accusations that are backed up by nothing. And um, there's just no substance to them. At least the scammers got some creativity. <laughs> God bless. Okay. Every man has a connection. <laughs> Does he have a channel? I didn't look. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. It's funny. The squeaky wheel always gets the grease, you know. When nine out of ten people are, are great, it's the tenth one that gets all the attention. And the scammers or the, or the this or that or the other. And, um, but anyway, it's all over the world. What's the funniest Philippine actual name you've heard of someone having? In Thailand, I met a girl named Porn Tip. <laughs> but in the Philippines, um, what was the funniest name? Something like Jing Jing, you know. There's no. What was it? Hey May. Yeah. What's Francis's wife's name? Uh, Yan Yan. Yeah. Was it? Yan Yan. Yeah, Yan Yan. <laughs> Come here and join us for a minute. <laughs> I hate you so much. Ray was a troll. <laughs> oh, were you? Yeah, we were going to take a trip to Bacolod, but they shut everything down. <laughs> oh, Biff, I owe you a big thank you. Uh, I think you are getting incorrect information regarding the length of time May needs to be married to you before she would be. Oh, oh okay. I'll take your information. But Biff, I, I, I thank you earlier. I don't know if you were here, but you were spot on about the USPS. And unbeknownst to me, um, I went to the Valencia post office during a big ass rainstorm and there was my envelope, buddy. You were dead on. I kept thinking they were going to deliver it. <laughs> that's FedEx, that's UPS, which you pointed out to me, uh, and the other delivery services like Shopee and whatnot, but they don't have a postal service out here. But what threw me off, Biff, was this. Three and a half years ago, three years ago, call it, I opened up a bank account with BDO. And of all the places that I first lived, there was actually a mailbox. at It was called Highland Villas. They actually had a little mailbox out front on the gate. And that was where the people would drive by and put the electric bill in. But I received a letter from BDO and for some reason that just stuck in my mind it was like a welcoming letter and um, it just stuck in my mind that there was mail delivery out here just not mail trucks I figured mail was delivered by motorbike like everything else is and uh, you were spot on bro and I got my debit card and I got everything fixed up and I'm, I'm good to go for another five years so a big thank you to Biff. You guys don't know what I'm talking about, but we just had a private conversation. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> For the guys listening, the karaoke guy across the street and one of Ray's connections. Karaoke and Karen share this the first three letters. Coincidence? <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> and you're right, Google sucks. Uh, yeah, Ron's never seen a snake. Seen plenty of ants. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none. <laughs> uh, from the SSA website, Johnny, you must be married for one year before you can get a spouse's benefits. If you are the parent, the one year rule does not apply. So it's only a year? Huh. I, why, why am I keep getting here in five years? I think the five years is for the, for the, uh, the, the what do you call it, the green card or, or whatever. I'm gonna have to look into it, Biff. But thank you again for the um, for the postal thing <laughs> because my letter actually I went there on a Tuesday and my letter had just gotten there on Friday before, so I got there three days after the letter arrived. So you uh, could not have been more timely in your information to me, my friend. Hey, Paul, do you reckon it's worthwhile to buy a condo, apartment in the Philippines, or better just to rent? In the longer term, I don't like the idea of buying. Um, that's just me, buddy. So markets go up, markets go down. If you look at Cebu right now, they're at about 30% occupancy rate. You know, those are condos. And I think they're primarily owned by foreigners. I could be wrong. And I think they're primarily used for the Airbnb deal. Could be wrong there, too. Don't have any facts to back that up. That's just an educated guess or uneducated guess. And um, so, no. I mean, I would buy a place out here for me. Like this house that we're living in. I know she loves it. And if the price was right and I could afford it, um, I would buy it for her. It wouldn't be mine, you know. Um, or I'll let her buy it. Or advise her to buy it. So, I think for a Filipina, yeah, definitely have land. Um, I would be much more inclined to buy a place in the States. Wedding crashers, yeah. <laughs> was that it, wedding crashers? We were just yelling for meatloaf. <laughs> Sometimes we laugh to hide our problems or we really feel. Please let people know things don't work out or they should have money saved. Go, oh, what did you say? Sometimes we laugh to hide our problems or how we really feel. Please let people know if things don't work out, they should have money saved to go. Hmm. Well, I would agree with that, Ricardo. Um, things don't work out. You should always have a backup plan. I've always said I'm only a plane ticket away from America if things don't work out here. Ray has to be a girl because he spells it with an A. <laughs> <laughs> A nomad overseas. I bought my comrade. condo, five year loan, same time in the future. I'll still have my money back. We'll live rent free. Well, there you go. There's one man's way of doing it, and he did it right. For me, I just don't like the idea of buying. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the actor? Who, who is it? It's um, oh, Will Ferrell. Yeah. Great to see the improvement. You know, it looks like you're in a good place now. Um, yeah, we're in a, we were actually the last place was fine. Um, we just saw this deal. This place kind of like fell into our lap, and we took a look at it and said, "Yeah, let's go for it." I fast for eight hours and exercise for forty. I would call nine one one because I'm on the floor. <laughs> you can do fifteen minutes three times a day, K night. And you're probably in great shape anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's another problem is these Filipinos are always shoving food in your face. No matter overseas, says condos are a waste of money to buy. It costs about double the price of a house per square meter. Buy a house if you have a Filipina or rent. There's another opinion. Trading with rent, with rich. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. All right, we got to go here pretty soon. I'm going to miss out on some uh, comments as usual, but it's 919 and I got a shower and I'll take May 
to this party thing. Let's see. I'll try to get to as many as I can. There's a bunch here. There's China, buddy. Hey, Ray, can you help my inventory remove? <laughs> I want to be wrong. <laughs> Those guys are married a single mother Filipino with a child. You must be married to the Filipino for at least a year for the stepchild under 18 to be eligible for SSA death benefits if you die. Okay. Once you're married to a single little child, so you've adopted the child, you're married to the woman and the stepchild and to be eligible. See, I didn't know that the stepchild could be eligible. If you were married over here or is that married in the States? I know that if I had a child, married or not, and I had provided a DNA sample proving that I have a child, then I would get a 50% increase in my social security benefits. Hey, Ray, can you help me get on? Oh, yeah, I did read that one. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to move backwards. Internet is great in Thailand, but the visa is freaking corn maze that never ends. Yeah, that's just it. The guy was asking about Philippines or Thailand, and I, I've got to say Philippines uh, just for the visa. And now the, the, my internet's working really good. So, and I think they're coming out with a thing next year called Skylink, which might provide, if nothing else, competition, which will always improve service when there's more competition. Right now out here, there's been Globe and PLDT is part of Globe. So there's no real competition, but you bring in competition with a better product, everything gets better for everybody. George called me cynical, but I think my property that was a little bit of a renting me. George called me cynical, but no hope I'd ever buy property there in the Filipinos' name. Renting would be the best option. My theory is if you buy property, it's for the Filipino. Thailand is expensive for visa. Yeah, see, I don't know those details. It's been so long since I've been there. Thailand, I'll go with May as, as, as a guest. As a tourist, you know, I tracked this down because I'm married to a Filipino that used to be a single mother. And now I have a wife and stepchild. Well, God bless you. So you would know. I'm going to you for everything, Biff. Biff, you need to start a channel <laughs> so I can fade some of these questions over to you. <laughs> Good night, Toby. Thank you again for all your help, buddy. Appreciate you very much. Um, and I'm going to be bailing out of here pretty quick. 12th of June, that's, that's us, is Philippines Independence Day. It's been one year to today that I got hit on the motorcycle. Remember I was turning into Hypermart and I was making a left and the guy hit me? Yeah. Yeah. That was on Independence Day. So, it's, oh. it, yeah, so today's Independence Day. Yeah, but I'm done, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's been one year since that guy hit me. The ballot buying box contents. You're a lousy scammer. Ray Jones. I don't understand that comment. <laughs> a nomad ever says you can buy a house or lease land for up to 50 years, but not everywhere. Yeah. One vote for Dean. Dean's coming on next time. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Dean between now and tomorrow. Hey, thank you very much, buddy. I'm going to be signing off in a minute because Mama here has got to go somewhere. Time on the British Indian Nation for a while. They really have to spend money the same way. Western visas could be a real pain, but they're getting desperate for it. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting. I got a friend that's running around over there, um, but I don't know the nuts and bolts of it. Yeah, I do. How do you video record the ADR? Oh, okay. That was a while back. 
Happy Friday. Saturday. Greetings from Virginia. Thank you. All right, kids, I'm going to be signing off here. I accuse accusations of being accurately incorrect. <laughs> How you doing, Jeffrey? <laughs> I know that's what I was saying. I said if the dad ever come here for a concert, I can make a zillion dollars just opening up a little store. <laughs> but I'm hoping that I see about like 30 people running around the plaza next week wearing tie-dye. <laughs> <laughs> Porn Pink. <laughs> that was her name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it happened one time. The truth is, I'm living here. The sperm has been here 16 years. The people that's ever been anywhere. Keep going, Paul. You're doing great. Thank you, sir. <laughs> The minute you think you know everything, you're in trouble. The male Karen is not as care of Kyle's. Sorry for the cool Kyle's out there. <laughs> I thought they were called Brad's. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I got to watch that comedy thing again. I think I, I put it on favorites or something. <laughs> it was so funny. It was like seven or eight different comedians going off about male Karens and Karens in general. <laughs> All right, kids. I'm going to sign out of here because I got to change my shirt, get going, and do a few more. Skyline is totally, it will be worldwide. I hope they get some kind of competition out here. That is one of the biggest lack of competition, yeah. Thank you very much, Tony. That's very generous of you. We appreciate you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh oh, here we go. Look at this. I was kind of looking for this. Okay. All right. Get somebody that can speak English this time, will you, pal? I'll send you a message on Messenger later on today. And yeah, we'll have you on tomorrow. How's that sound? You guys up for that? Two streams in a row. All right, kids. Listen, I'm going to go uh, today with Baby May. Got the big Balak buying box being uh, unboxed. So make sure you watch that. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, single mom, Riza, like, share, subscribe, and watch her videos over and over again at night. Right? Yeah, <laughs> and on my uh, channel, if you like, share, and subscribe, that's great. But if you don't, I don't blame you. You know, from me and baby May, be nice to everybody. Thank you, guys. You ready to go?